Hair breakage occurs naturally every single day, which makes it one of those few things that everybody watching this video can relate to. The average person will lose roughly 50 to 100 strands of hair per day. However, it's very easy to cause an excessive amount of hair breakage. And so in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can prevent hair breakage. With that being said, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is a men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. The Perfect Package series is what I have here. Includes their new lawnmower 3.0 body trimmer, which is cordless, waterproof, and designed with skin safe technology, making it a positive grooming experience for the modern man. Since last featuring Manscaped on the channel, I've become a pretty big fan of their boxer briefs. They're by far the most comfy underwear I own, and they're great for pretty much any type of person. They're catered towards athletic performance. If you're like me and you live a fairly active lifestyle, these are a great pickup. With that being said, they are very much suitable for daily use or just lounging in simply because of how comfortable they are. Manscaped are also partnered with Testicular Cancer Society to raise awareness and educate guys like you and I to check ourselves for the most common form of cancer for guys aged 15 to 35. In the description of this video, there'll be a link so you can go and check out their products as well as a little discount code to save you some money. And again, a massive thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. I've spoken a fair bit on the channel about having a balanced diet to ensure optimal physical health as well as hair health. You can't really have one without the other. This point comes at the start of this video simply because I'm talking from pure experience. After a year or two of eating very poorly, my hair began to break excessively, which in turn made it thin quite drastically. And now, having invested a lot of time into researching what is best for health, we're in a much better position of it. My practical advice would be to start with a hearty breakfast. This is because it's a very easy way of getting in a bunch of fruit and grains in your diet, which directly correlates with good hair health. I start with whole wheat oats. You can get a whole bag for less than a pound. Second, I add a plant-based milk, usually oat or soya, and then I place those two on the heat. While that's heating up, I'll begin cutting my fruit. At the very least, this will be one banana, but if I've just gone for a food shop or I fancy a real nice breakfast, I'll add a serving of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and even one or two kiwis. And again, this is totally open to exploration. You can add or remove stuff as you please. This is just an idea. It might seem like a lot, but once you have all the ingredients, they usually last three to four days, depending on your serving sizes. And I've always seen personal health a worthwhile investment. As far as breakage goes, your hair is in its most vulnerable state when it is wet. I commonly get asked whether wetting your hair every day is okay without shampooing. And to this, I'd say yes, it is, but I wouldn't advise it because any interaction you might have with your wet hair such as combing, blow drying or towel drying are all causing excessive hair breakage if you're not being careful. As far as combing your wet hair goes, swap your styling brush for a wide tooth comb. This will prevent any tug or pull of the hair. Also brush the ends of your hair first and then work your way up towards the root. This is to de-knot the hair and avoid overall breakage. When it comes to towel drying, avoid using a towel entirely and switch it for a t-shirt. This again will be less rough on your hair and therefore cause less breakage. My most recent hair video was all about dry hair and how to prevent it. Admittedly, I didn't really mention how dry hair can cause breakage, but to summarize, hair that is dry is a lot more rigid and brittle and therefore a lot more likely to break when you dry your hair, brush your hair, or even run your hands through your hair. I highly recommend you go and watch that video on dry hair to A, assess whether you have dry hair yourself and B, how to prevent it if you do. Some of the major points that cause dry hair are shampooing excessively as this strips your hair of its natural oils, using heat appliances regularly such as blow drying or using a hair straightener. And although summer is drawing to a close, exposure to the sun could also be causing dryness. I get a lot of hair questions on the topic of hair breakage, so I thought to end this video, I'd go over the most common I get. First is usually along the lines of, I see more than 50 to 100 strands of hair a day. Is this normal? To this, I would say it can be normal. The 50 to 100 strands of hair a day is only an estimate and it's kind of an average. So if you fall slightly below or above it, that is okay. Secondly, a lot of guys get concerned in the shower because they're seeing loads of hair running between their hands. If you follow the general advice of not to shampoo every single day, when you do eventually come round to shampooing, you're gonna see a lot of hair strands. That is totally natural. Essentially what you're doing is just removing all of the hair strands that have come apart over the course of those several days that you haven't washed your hair. Secondly, what products are good for hair breakage? Imminently what comes to mind with this question is anything that nourishes the hair, so leave-in conditioners, hair oils, 
non-stripping shampoos. If you're growing out your hair, generally I would say avoid using styling products as much as you can. With that being said, I do have a video coming out very soon which uses a styling product, but it also looks at how you can counteract the dryness that it might cause by using hair oils and by using other nourishing hair products. And lastly, does cutting damaged hair help it grow? This is something I have tackled in a fairly recent video which looks at hair myths. Cutting the ends of your hair doesn't make your hair grow faster. Hair growth occurs at the scalp and so cutting the ends does not affect that whatsoever. Split ends can accelerate hair breakage so getting your split ends trimmed every couple of months isn't necessarily a bad idea. But that brings this video to an end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please drop it a thumbs up if you did. It lets me know you guys like seeing these types of videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and until then I will see you all in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.